only fitting that any look back at Cleveland hockey begin here, the site of the old arena, where for over 40 years, the American Hockey League Barons thrilled and delighted capacity crowds. The American Hockey League Barons were Cleveland's favorite hockey team. They were called the seventh best team in hockey when the NHL had but six squads. Other teams in the league included Rochester, Springfield, and the much-hated Hershey Bears. Familiar names included Les Binkley, the goaltender who doubled his trainer, the Glover brothers, Howie and Freddie, and Johnny Bauer, and many others. Eight to 9,000 hockey faithful would attend each and every game at the arena, and every game was a bloodbath. In 1973, they folded, moving to Jacksonville, and two years later, they disbanded. What killed the Barons? The Cleveland Crusaders, who began in the 72-73 season. The Crusaders got the prime dates and times, pushing the Barons to extinction. The first player signed by the Crusaders was Jerry Cheevers, now coach of the Boston Bruins. Cheevers jumped to the new league after leading Boston to the Stanley Cup in the 71-72 season. Cheevers attempted to bring credibility to his new team, but the team, with only a handful of quality players, moved to the Coliseum, didn't win many games, and the combination of the two led to its downfall. After the 75-76 season, the Crusaders folded. They moved to Minnesota to become the Minnesota Fighting Saints. History would soon repeat itself. In 1976, the NHL Cleveland Barons began play. They moved to Cleveland from Oakland, where they were originally called the California Golden Seals. The distance to the Coliseum, a lack of promotion, and few wins sounded the death knell for the Barons in 1978. Like the Crusaders, the Barons moved to Minnesota and merged with the Minnesota North Stars in 1978. And hockey in Cleveland ended in June of that year. And as it was only fitting that we begin here, it's only fitting we end here. Because the death of the arena spelled death for hockey in Cleveland.